Hey y'all. It's photo shoot day. I got on this outfit now. Um I already put on some outfits already. I had three outfits that I already had on prior to this one. I just finished taking photos in this outfit. Now I'm gonna switch to another one. As you can see, I got all of them. Not all of them, but majority of them. Right here, and then some are over there that I have to put on. Um, and some are still packaged up in packages over there that I have to put on. I'm tired. All I did was these three right here. This one, this one, and that one. And I'm tired already. I'm tired. But I just got done doing a shoot in this one. And the fabric is wonderful. It made my butt look... Let me stop. I'm not a twerker, y'all. I do not twerk. I don't want people to get the wrong impression that I be out here like that. I'm a nice, wholesome Christian woman, okay? But this fabric feels wonderful. It's all silky and smooth and stuff. That's why I like this type of stuff. Like Anything that I don't like, I'm not going to put on my website. Period. If I'm not going to wear it and I don't feel comfortable in wearing it, I don't expect anybody else to feel comfortable in wearing it, so I'm not going to put it on my website. But the only thing that I wear is stuff that like feels like silky smooth, you know, feel, you feel like royalty, you know what I'm saying? You want to feel like royalty. So I put on stuff so that we feel like royalty. You know what I'm saying? But this, I'm not a thick girl, but this make me look, you know, a little thick, you know, because it fit my curves or whatnot. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this photo shoot. You'll probably see a few more outfits that I put on, depending on how I feel. Cause I'm doing this photo shoot by myself. The last photo shoot I did was for my hairline, which is hairgenie.com. Haha, <laughs> the hairgenie.com. But I had somebody come over to do uh, my photo shoot, my video, and my makeup. That time, I I'm cheap, guys. So don't get me wrong, I support you know, black businesses and stuff like that, but at some point, I gotta start saving money. You know, I gotta start saving money. So I did my own hair, did my own makeup, which is like a little natural glam. I like the natural look. I don't really like the dramatic look on myself. On other people, it would be looking bomb. But when I had it done on myself, and I had somebody else do it, I was just like, eh, no. So, um, yeah, I like more than natural look. And then, of course, all of my fits, all of my outfits, all of my apparel, of course, comes from my apparel store. I went out and traveled to specifically find the perfect kind of fabric for my store. Um, I had to get touch, feel, had to see if it was, you know, stretchy because I don't like clothes that aren't stretchy because what if I gain weight? What if I get smaller? I want it to still fit. So those are, those are the type of clothing that I'll be um, selling on my website for my apparel store. And also, here's the other kicker. Also, the clothing that I'll be selling on my apparel store is basically first come, first serve. So if I sell out of one item, most likely I will not be selling it again. Um, that's the whole point of an apparel store or a boutique. You find things that you wouldn't find in a normal store. And I want my people to feel like, feel special. Like, hey, I'm only one of the few people that have this outfit. Now, of course, I'm going to have the outfit too because I'm the one that's providing the uh, clothing. But I'm probably only going to have at the most 10 of that specific outfit and once I sell out I sell out and I, I replace it with something new something different so that's the perk of my store it's a good thing and it can also be a bad thing because people may want it and I may have already sold out of it so yeah I'm not all about money you know um because if I was all about money then I just keep restocking and restocking restocking on the same thing once I see that you know a lot of people like it but, like I said, I want my clients and my customers to feel special because they're the only few people that have that particular type of um, outfit. So, yeah. I'm going to finish with this shoot. 
mess around and take me a little lunch break give me something to eat because i am hungry but yeah i'll see y'all later here's another fit this one on the other hand is a little tight it's definitely fit to size um yeah but I really like how it looks, especially against melanin skin. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I like it. I do. I like how this color looks on my skin, too. So, this is outfit number five. And I just got done with this one. This is the next one, and these are the shades that match with it. I might wear this outfit today, baby. Huh. Think I won't. I might wear this outfit today, baby. Do you feel me? Do you feel me, though? I might wear this outfit today. Now, this is the sixth outfit or whatever. And these are some shades that are also going to be on my website. Two, I have um, different kinds. But I saw these and I was just like, why not wear these with the, you know, why not? Why not? Here's the other one. Look at you or whatever. Yes, Punty. You really can't see it. Where my stand at? Let me go. I'm going to go get my stand so I can put y'all up on the stand. Okay, so this is this outfit. The second one. Let me go with these shades too. These shades are multi-purpose, baby. Multi-purpose. But yeah. I don't even like this outfit. It's so retro and different. And my blood I got a booty. Y'all ready to get ready for the summertime? Get ready for the summertime. Get, I can't dance y'all. But get ready for the summertime, honey. Get ready for the summertime, honey. Yeah. When I say, these clothes that I selected for this My Pearl store are hidden. Baby, they are hidden. If you wanted a booty, you ain't gotta go get surgery, baby. All you gotta do is go to the pearl store and get your booty. Look at it. Look at it. I ain't got no booty. Anybody that know me, no, I ain't got no booty, right? Look at this. Look. I got a booty in these clothes, baby. Let me tell you something. You want your booty without the high cost? Come on. Come see me, baby. Come see me. I hear you looking right in these clothes. See, that's why I like my selection. That's why I like what I do. Yes, honey. Mm-hmm. And this ain't it. There are a whole lot of other ones y'all didn't see before I started recording this. But, on to the next. I'm tired, y'all. I have to take me a break. I'm going to take me a nap. And I ain't even get through with all the clothes I was supposed to be trying on today. And I probably won't. To be honest. I think the rest, the, the only thing I gotta try on, not try on, but you know, take pictures in is um, some shirts. I got majority of like the full outfits, like the two pieces and the one pieces. And I got a few, um, shirts out the way so i think those other shirts can wait because i'm tired and i started getting a headache so i'm gonna take me a nap and then i'm gonna get right back up and do the same thing over again tonight well later on today because i'm probably just gonna take me about a 30 minute nap maybe an hour and then get back to business. 
Lord, if nobody ever told me entrepreneurial life would be hard, I didn't expect it to be easy, but it's just like, Lord, what, what are we doing? I need help. Help me. <laughs> if I can have a hard voice, help me. But now I'm going to take me a nap, y'all. Yeah. I'll see y'all when I wake up. I feel that. Mm -hmm. See, I'm on my way to the nation. I know that ain't where you're trying to go, but I'm going to slide up there. Okay. You on your ass? You bring your ass? You said what? You bring your ass up there. Who you talking to? You coming up there now? Okay, what's that then? Don't, don't do all of that. I, I'm, I'm not ratchet, remember? Okay. Uh, did I say bringing your ass up there? Mm-hmm. Oh, you see, like you don't drink, you don't smoke, you sensitive. I ain't sensitive. I just asked who you was talking to. I'm just trying to get some clarity. I don't get sensitive, but there are certain, certain things I don't tolerate. If that makes sense. No. I mean, I ain't mean to offend you or nothing like that, but damn. You'll be okay. <laughs> You will be all right, sir. Yeah, so I'm about to leave right now. I'm trying to hop in this GPS and see what it's probably another 15 minutes away from where I'm at right now, wherever I'm at. Okay. This is like a little overhead spot. What, the bistro? I thought it was a food spot. I mean, this is a bistro, but I don't know if it's just the right bistro or whatever. I'm just going off whatever this little chick can't be talking about. That's where they was at. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. to the nations, then I will be there. If they decide they want to go somewhere else, then that's where I'll be going. That's all good. I just kind of be blowing in the wind. I don't be sticking around for too long. That's cool. That's I'm letting you know where I was at. That's cool. Well, if you up there, I'll text you if I go up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Have a good night. Be safe. Ah! Huh. 